You're out taking photos and you spot this bald eagle in a tree across the river. You take photos, everything looks good on the back of the camera, the light was good, camera settings were good, ISO was only 250. You get home, pop it into Lightroom and ugh, not great. You're too far away and when you zoom in to 100%, the eagle looks soft. And let's face it, you cropped way too much. Do you delete those photos? In the past, I would have done that, but not now. Now you can cheat your way to better bird photography. I turned that photo into this. For the past year or so, I've been cheating with Topaz Labs AI products. And you know what? A lot of photographers use these tools. AI is all the rage and all the fear these days. It seems that AI is starting to invade every aspect of our lives. By the way, this is really me, Marlene, talking to you. Not an AI rendition of me. I hope it never comes to that. Now there are a bunch of Topaz photo apps. For that eagle on a stick, I used Topaz Photo AI. But I mostly use the Topaz Denoise AI, as I often find myself shooting at ISOs that are way too high, especially when I'm trampling through the woods or taking photos of owls near sunset. A birding friend of mine jokes that the owls come out at ISO 5000, and it's true. So instead of boring you through the over my shoulder edits, I did that in this video here. I'll save you some time by showing before and after photos using Topaz Denoise, my favorite and most used AI editing tool. Now I sometimes use Topaz Sharpen AI too, but I find that Denoise applies enough sharpening for me. But if it's breezy and the bird's feathers are moving a bit, Topaz AI Sharpening has motion blur setting that works good. Now I don't use photo AI as much, but it has the automatic resize built into it. And if I just need a photo for social media to prove I saw a certain bird, I'll use it. Now there are lots of choices out there for AI denoise products. In fact, Lightroom and Photoshop have them too. But I shamelessly shoot JPEGs and not all of those other apps work with JPEGs. Lightroom and Photoshop Denoise AI tools don't actually work with JPEGs. I've tested Lightroom Denoise with a RAW file and it's very slow, even with a fast computer. Topaz is faster for me, plus JPEGs. But of course, you can use RAW files with it too. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Many of the top birders I know shoot JPEGs. Yes, it's true. Fun fact, I used to shoot RAW files exclusively. When I started digital photography over 20 years ago, camera processors, processors were not as good. So shooting raw was a necessity. But now I like to let my cameras do most of the work. That's why I pay them the big bucks. I've always said get it right in the camera. It's rare I'll shoot raw files unless I need insurance. Maybe the lighting is tricky with too much dynamic range. Maybe the white balance is tricky with mixed light sources, or my client thinks pros only shoot raw. Even when I shoot raw plus JPEGs, I usually throw out the raw files once I've seen my JPEGs. Now, I don't do much client work these days, so JPEGs are my go-to file format. Just make sure you use the best quality JPEGs when setting up your camera. This is what it looks like. Now there's a huge bonus to using Topaz AI tools. If you're not sure if birding is your thing, or you can't afford a long or a fast telephoto lens right out of the gate, then it's nice to have the tools that upscale, sharpen, and remove the noise. The Topaz Lab Suite has you covered. Download the free trials and try them out for yourself. That's what I did. Now Topaz has big discounts a few times a year, and right now they're having a huge Black Friday sale. If you see this video later than Black Friday, get the trial anyway and wait for a sale if money is tight. If you use my affiliate link in the description below, I will get a commission. Thank you kindly if you do. Honestly though, if you can't wait, I think it's still worth it at the regular price, especially the Denoise AI. I couldn't wait. Now I know everyone's pushing their stuff right now and I really appreciate you sitting through this video to hear my pitch. What is your favorite Denoise app? And does it work for JPEGs too? I'd love to hear from you. Have a great day. I'm running off to the skate park now, so we'll see you soon.